So welcome to our webinar series. We are trying to do them once every three weeks or so. And tonight we've chosen the webinar on the Pharmacy Assistant Program. It's a fabulous program, little known program, so much potential, so many things. Um, it's near and dear to my heart. I started my career, let's just say a very long time ago. Don't look at the gray hair. It isn't dyed, this is real. Um, I was a pharmacy assistant and I, have loved it. It has taken me in so many directions. The next thing we're going to do today, oh, I'm having some trouble with my presentation. I'm so sorry. Nope, it doesn't want to do that. Okay, let's try again. There we go. There we go. All right. We have a first video to show you. Everyone can see my screen right now and it looks black. You can give me a thumbs up. Beautiful. Just making sure I haven't messed up too badly. Thanks, everyone. This is our first video. Of I'm Cheryl White and I'm the pharmacy assistant teacher at Willis College. This is our Willis Pharmacy. Why did you stop, Cheryl? So this is the lab where we keep all of our medications. We have our brands and generics uh, all the way A through Z. We have compounding supplies. We have counting trays, um, injectables. All of our medication is kept here, auxiliary labels, everything that's fun that we need to compound with. We have um, also some over-the-counter medications uh, here as well. And we have our jars for filling and for our compounding. We also have our insulin syringes and um, that is everything for our, our lab. So it's, it's great, it's tons of fun. And uh, I hope to uh, talk to you all soon. Thank you. The pharmacy assistant plays a crucial role in the daily running of a pharmacy. They are the first line of customer service and the first line of communication. If you've ever dropped your prescription off at a pharmacy, you'll notice that the very first person you speak to is most likely a pharmacy assistant. They'll take your prescription, check all the details, then they do all the counting and the mixing and all the really fun stuff. Um, but it's an unknown fact that pharmacy assistants don't just work in pharmacies. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that tonight. So some of the duties of a pharmacy assistant, handling of the prescriptions, receiving, entering, generating, filling, storing, handing out the prescriptions, generating a stock list, inventory control, stock rotation, the handling of narcotics, um, making sure that everything the patient needs is actually in stock. You can imagine if I'm sick and I bring you my prescription and you tell me that you don't have it, probably not going to be very happy and I'm also not gonna get better. Dispensing prescriptions, counting, filling, making, processing, compounding, which we're going to talk a little bit about tonight. I like to call it cooking for pharmacy. Ordering, receiving, stock uh, and stock using the pharmacy software. So there's a very specific software program for pharmacies. There's about four major ones in the entire country. We are very lucky at Willis College that we have the number one system in Canada. It's the Crowell system. It is the system that the other three programs were designed off of, including the Shoppers Drug Mart Health Watch program. Um, so we'll be teaching you how to use the Kroll system. Pharmacy assistants also do the billing and insurance claims, which is really important. They're also doing all of the telephone inquiries for refills. Do you have something in stock? I need help. Where's my doctor's number? All of those fun things. Pharmacy assistants must be able to take direction, critically think through problems, and be the face of the pharmacy. It's a huge task. So versatility. I talked earlier about how pharmacy assistants don't just work in pharmacies. We all know that pharmacy assistants can work in a community pharmacy. 
Rexall, Shoppers Drug Mart, Loblaws, London Drugs and Medicine Shop, for example. But there's also specialized pharmacies like an institutional pharmacy where the general public is not able to access, but the pharmacy assistant would be working filling specialized medications for long-term care facilities in special packages. There's also compounding pharmacies where they would make only compounds using special ingredients and special procedures. Insurance companies, Blue Cross, Sun Life, Manulife, Canada Life, they all use pharmacy assistance to help with the billing and accuracy of the insurance. Software companies, Kroll, Nexus and Healthwatch. I actually used to work for Kroll as a software trainer in pharmacies. I got to travel all over the country, including up north into some of the fabulous Indian reserves in northern Alberta, um, where I got to teach other people how to use the software. Such a cool thing. And I did it as a pharmacy assistant. Hospital pharmacies, very important. Methadone clinics, helping our addictions population, making sure that they stay safe and that we're able to help them come off of their addiction. Those are pharmacy assistants. Veterinary offices. Did you know that we do dispensing of medications to animals and it's pharmacy assistants that help? And pharmaceutical sales and research were just some of the ones I thought about. And then all of a sudden I had another thought. What I currently do now, I teach. I was a pharmacy assistant who became a pharmacy tech who moved through into management. And now I have the pleasure of teaching. You can do so much with this diploma if it's something that you want to do. I'm now going to ask our very talented career services lead, Mike, to talk a little bit about these careers with you. Um, and he's going to bring up some positions that you could use with your diploma. I'll throw it over to you, Mike. Thank you so much. Thanks, Bonnie. Um, yeah, I want to talk a little bit about the, the evolution of the pharmacy assistant and what it takes to have a career in that discipline. Uh, because if you go back a few years ago, you wouldn't find diploma programs and they were willing, you know, pharmacies were willing to hire almost anyone uh, and, and do some on the job training. Um, the, the, the occupation has become such that, that that's not the preferred way of going about things now. So I wear a number of different hats with uh, the college. And when it comes to us updating existing programs or creating new programs, we do extensive labor market uh, analysis because we want to ensure that once you finish your program, that our graduates are going to have wonderful careers, that there are going to be positions there for you to apply for. So we do that a number of different ways. One of the ways that we usually start is our starting point on this long path is we look at the uh, Government of Canada uh, Job Bank and specifically the National Occupation Code, the NOC codes that are associated with any given discipline that we're researching. So when it comes to the pharmacy assistant um, uh, occupation, the job bank has it listed as a three out of three star occupation, which is the highest rating that you can have. Uh, what it's saying is, is that forecasting over the next three years, there are going to be plenty of opportunities for people to join the workforce, lots of postings, postings that are uh, including entry level positions as well as you know, intermediate to senior. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk a little bit about where we typically go from, from there. So everybody can see my screen, I hope. Um, there's a number of different, you know, career search sites out there. Um, I look at a lot of different ones. I prefer Indeed for a variety of reasons. And what we'll do is, is it will type in the occupation and where we're looking at. So typically when we do these webinars, we have people from all over Canada who are a part of it. And in Vancouver, when you look at the uh, position posting type, it's saying that right now in Vancouver, there are 62 full-time pharmacy assistant positions available. There's also a list of part-time, um, some casual, et cetera, but I'm just gonna focus on full-time because that's 
usually what people are looking for after they graduate a, a program. So um, Vancouver, 62 full-time positions. Uh, Calgary, uh, 24. Winnipeg, where I'm actually based out of, has 14 full-time positions. Uh, we're a smaller center out of all the ones I'm quoting, so that, that makes sense. Uh, the Greater Toronto uh, Area, the GTA, has 111 full-time positions. And Ottawa has 31. So that just gives you an idea across Canada. One specific day of the week, one moment in time, how many different full-time positions that there are. What I thought I would do is, in order to talk about the evolution of this occupation, I wanted to highlight a specific job. So I'm looking at a pharmacy assistant position with the Shoppers Drug Mart. This one happens to be in, in Vancouver. And the reason why I'm highlighting this one is, is that it's relevant to the program. The college diploma is listed as a requirement. It's a great starting position uh, that any graduate could apply for. And it shows the evolution of the occupation. So what I mean by that, and I, and I wanna differentiate between jobs and careers. Um, when you think about things that help you worked at that helped put you through school, whether you worked in retail or McDonald's or whatever the case was, that's a job. And you can learn some really great transferable skills in places like that. So for example, and I'm, I'm not gonna read through this whole job description, I'm just gonna kind of give you a highlight by section. Um, when you look at the customer service section, these are transferable skills that you could have got from some of those jobs that I mentioned before. Um, they're important. We learn customer service in different places, different ways. Some of us are really good at it. But because you're a frontline person as a pharmacy assistant, working with people who they might be sick, so they're not at their best, you have to have exceptional customer service. Secondly, the administration section of the posting here. Um, it's essentially workflow, time management, organizational skills all things that are important in a variety of different disciplines. This is where you start to see the transition from transferable skills you might have got somewhere else to where you need to get training, have a diploma backing you for this pharmacy position. When it comes to uh, the front shop merchandising, um, really the, the next three, um, front shop merchandising, the uh, prescription workflow, and the inventory management, these are definitely specific to um, this position. Uh, front shop talks about ordering prescription-related merchandise. You're not picking that skill set up when you've worked in retail, right? Uh, when you look at the uh, uh, prescription workflow and inventory management, these are only skills that you're going to get out of a diploma program. So again, the days of having some good skills but no formal training to get a position like this, it's not going to happen because right here in the posting, it says that they prefer a diploma from a pharmacy assistant program. And that's the trend that you're going to see across you know, the vast majority of these job posting, if, you know, you choose to look online at Indeed or wherever your favorite job job center is. So, uh, Bonnie, that's it for me. Thank you, Mike. That was awesome. I love seeing how many opportunities are available for our students. Oh, hang on. I just, I apologize. I just hit the wrong screen. Where did you all go? There you are. Hello, everybody. I'm back. Um, all right. I'm going to um, go back into our PowerPoint. And we're going to ask, uh, we're going to see one more video first, and then we're going to talk to Marissa about what it takes to become a pharmacy assistant. So let's do this video. Can everybody see my screen again? Perfect. And here we go. Okay, so another thing we do as pharmacy assistants is we fill prescriptions. So here is another uh, Kroll prescription. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the shelf 
find the drug that is on the curl prescription and I'm going to fill it for the quantity it has, it's asking for. I will match the drug identification numbers to make sure that they match, make sure that it matches my patient, my doctor, and everything is just perfect. So we do check that as assistance as well. And if we feel everything is great, we can go ahead and start counting our medication. In this case, I'm gonna start counting. Also count by fives as well as assistance. So 15 capsules. My prescription asked for 15. I fill it for 15. And we'll put it in our nice jar here. After that, we will take one of these labels here. We will put it on the container and it will go off to the pharmacist with the drug for a final check. I'm gonna put the counting tray aside and I'm gonna let you guys take a quick look at uh, blister packing. Okay, so this is something else we do as well as assistants. We put medication into blister packs for patients generally for the elderly that um, are very confused and take lots of medications. So we have our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sundays at bedtime, supper, lunch, and breakfast. So it's all set up for them. We will take their order and fill it appropriately. The pharmacist will then come through and check every single thing with the drug that we, are, we use, or drugs that we use in this case. Once it's all ready to go, we take off this piece here, fold it over, and we seal. Okay. So once it's sealed, it's ready to go. You can see it looks wonderful. It's ready to go to the patient. We'll affix the labels here with their name and instruction. And it's like a little booklet. Medication manager. And it gets sent off with the patient. Sometimes we do this as well in uh, nursing homes. We'll set it up for the week. The nurse will come and she'll be able to um, administer their breakfast, lunch, and dinner doses daily. Cheryl, I'm loving these videos that you made. They're so good, really helping us understand the role of the pharmacy assistant. Sorry, apparently I can't press the enter button. All right, we're going to pass over to Marissa. Marissa, remember, is our admissions advisor, and she's going to tell us a little bit about when to start as a PA student, how to start as a PA student, and this weird thousand dollar number that she asked me to put on the slide. I don't know, Marissa, what's going on? Thank you, Bonnie. Um, so if you're looking for a career that, as we just learned, is very much in demand and can also be complete in a short amount of time, no need to look further. Our pharmacy assistant program offers you the education and the skills that you need to be career ready in just six months. We have classes starting as early as July 26th, and I am pleased to announce that Willis College is now offering a $1,000 pharmacy assistant scholarship to those that qualify and are ready to start their career. If that's you, let us know by commenting in the chat box, and we'll have one of our student admissions advisors, just like myself, reach out and help you get started. Thanks, Marissa. So a thousand dollar tuition reduction bursary for students starting in July and August. Are we only doing that for pharmacy assistant students, Marissa? At the present time, yes, uh, but definitely keep your eyes and ears out for other things to come. Excellent. Well, great time to become a pharmacy assistant student. Thank you so much. Well, now I have something a little bit different for everybody. I'm gonna ask you to get out your phones 
or go to the search bar, internet search bar on your computers. And I want you to type in this right here, www.kahoot.it, www.kahoot.it. When you've done it, give me a little thumbs up in the Zoom so I know you're ready to go, because we're gonna play a little game. And we're gonna see who remembers any of the information we might've shared so far today. So in your, on your phone or on your computer, go to www.kahoot.it. And then we're gonna play a little game together. Just let me know when you're ready. So we're going to compete one against the other. Not sure why it decided to stop. Do that again. Probably wasn't fast enough. I never am. Oh, oh, my internet is giving me trouble. Are we? Can everybody still see the screen? Yeah. Excellent. All right. So we're going to play player against player. And I'm gonna give you a code in a minute. And this code is going to allow you to play the game live with me right in the webinar, okay? Just trying to load up, Just give it a second. There we go. All right, so there's gonna be a code coming. It's gonna be a pin, it's a seven digit number in your, www.kahoot.it, please put 959-6615, 959-6615, and then it will ask you for a name. You don't have to use your real name if you don't want to, you can make something up. And we're gonna play the game together. Nice. Does anyone else want to play? Excellent. All right. So once you've all decided that you're going to play along, we're going to get the game started. It is timed. So by the time we read the question and look at the answers, you have to make a decision. Here we go. First question. The pharmacy assistant program at Willis College is how long? Seven months, six months, 12 months, or 10 months? How long is the pharmacy assistant program? Select your answer. Nice. So the correct answer is indeed six months. Meaning if you started in July, you would be done in January and out in the field earning some nice um, income. Nice job, everybody. Next question. Oh, here's our scores. Nice. All right. Next question. A true or false question. It sounds like being a pharmacy assistant will be really interesting. True or false? Nice, six of you said true, well done. Oh, and D is moving up. Pen tester is in and S is on the scoreboard too, well done. Next question. It's a quiz question. I want to get started as a pharmacy assistant student in July, in August, in January, or I'm not sure yet. 
I want to get started as a pharmacy assistant student in July, August, January, or I'm not sure yet. Five people want July and two are not sure yet. And that's okay. Hopefully that's why you're here with us. Nice job. S is moving right up the board. D is moving in. Manny still in the lead. He is on fire. Excellent. And another quick quiz question. A key skill of all pharmacy assistants is communication, patient care, accuracy, or all of the above. Nice job, exactly. You need to be good at communication. You need to want to look after people. And of course we need to be accurate because we're dealing with medication. Excellent job. All right, I think we only have maybe two more questions to go. Pharmacy assistants can work. Pharmacy assistants can work for insurance companies, long-term care pharmacies, software companies, all of the answers are correct. Excellent. Indeed, all of them are correct. You can work everywhere. Insurance companies, long-term care pharmacies, software companies, all of them, and so much more. Let's see, Alexa's on the board. Nice job, Alexa. D is on fire and Manny is still in the lead. Come on guys, let's get him. Quiz question. The pharmacy assistant program at Willis College starts July, August, today, red and yellow are correct. Nice. It does start in July, but it also starts in August and red and yellow are correct. Excellent job, everyone. Let's see where we are now. Manny has lost his top place, but only just a little bit. Alexa's back on the board. Nice job. And this is our last question. Pharmacy assistants are healthcare heroes crucial to workflow, able to work in veterinary pharmacies, all answers are correct. And Kahoot just lost us a little bit. Let's let it retry. Does anyone know what the answer is? Somebody tell me. Let's pick on Barb. What's the answer? Sorry, Bonnie, you caught me off guard. <laughs> Can you repeat you the think? question, please? Yeah, so <laughs> it's okay. Kahoot did it for us. So okay. Pharmacy Assistants are healthcare heroes, crucial to workflow, able to work in veterinary pharmacies, and all answers are correct. Only one person had the time to answer that one, though, so that's okay. Let's see who's on the podium. Third place, Boido. We're going to say that's Michael. He probably cheated. Second place is Manny. And first place is Hector. Nice job. And then we have some runners up as well. Good job, you guys. These are the types of things we can do to learn in school. We could make these drug names and they could be drug name questions. They could be inventory control questions. There's so many things we can do with this that really allows us to be um, interactive in your learning experience. How was that? Give me a thumbs up. Excellent. 
All right. Okay, so we have one more video and then we're gonna open up for questions and answers. Come on, what's wrong with you? There we go. All right. Let's get it lined up to play. Okay, so as pharmacy assistants, one of the many things we do is compounding. And we work on a pharmaceutical system called Kroll. So this is a Kroll. Um, prescription. What we have here is the, um, the drug that we're going to be using. It actually gives us the ingredients and how much that we have to measure out, weigh out, and mix together. So this is what I'm going to be using today. Here is my uh, aquaphor that I'm going to be using along with my drug. We use small amounts of each so that it is mixed very evenly. So you just use a little bit at a time. That way it mixes really well and really evenly. If not, we'll have chunks everywhere and it will not be an even mixture at all. A little at a time. Mix, mix, mix well. So we want it to be very well distributed, very even. And it's going to be a really nice mango color, as you can see here. That's completed. And this is very important for us as pharmacy assistants. And there you go. There you have it. We have a little mini compound here. I made a tiny bit to give you an example. And when we're done, we will put it into our appointment jar. Tap it up. At this point, we would then place a label on it and it will go off to the pharmacist for the final check and then it'll be out to the patient. I have to say a huge thank you to Barb and to Cheryl for making these amazing videos to share with us today. Um, we really wanted to show you a snapshot of what being a pharmacy assistant will look like and some of the fun things you're going to get to do when you're in school. Thank you, Cheryl and Barb, for helping me out with these videos. And now it's time for questions and answers. Anybody have any questions that we can answer for you? Anything that you think you need to know? Anything we can help you with to get you started on the right path for pharmacy assistant in school? Please don't hesitate. You can use the chat box or the Q&A box and we'll be happy to answer for you. Um, Winona, um, Mike, this will be a great question for you to answer for us, please. Winona would like to know if there is a placement in this program. So the program, this is our first offering of the, uh, the program. And currently it has been registered with a total of 160 hours of uh, placement. So that's a four week, 40 hour uh, per week placement. So you will get some real life 
experience outside of the uh, out of out of the classroom, out of the pharmacy lab. Um, so yeah, there absolutely is. Thank you, Mike. Um, D is asking if I need a grade 12 science to get into pharmacy assistance. Maybe Marissa, you could help us with that question. I am, yes, I can help you with that question. No, the answer is you don't you don't necessarily need a grade 12 science um, to, as a prerequisite for this program because everything that you need to learn uh, for this career is taught within our program. So no background in science required at all. Excellent, thank you, Marissa. There's no more questions coming in. We'll just wait a couple of seconds just in case. So Barb, under our current COVID restrictions, we obviously all of our students are learning virtually um, we hope to return to school soon. Is there a plan for students to do labs on site or will they be doing able to do labs at home virtually in the pharmacy assistant program? Great question, Bonnie. So actually, um, because pharmacy assistant is considered deemed an essential healthcare service, we are actually running labs uh, twice a week right now on campus. Um, obviously, we have physical distancing in place, everything um, that we need for COVID safety, uh, but the students are actually coming on campus. So it is really great. They really, really enjoy um, being able to see each other and do the physical labs, um, do learn all the skills that they're going to be learning in the real world. Excellent. That is so great to know. I think it's important that they get to interact as well and practice on each other. So thank you, Barb. That's amazing. At this time, I see no more questions. So if unless anyone else has something else that we can answer for you, I will um, thank you for your attendance tonight for joining us at this amazing webinar. I hope to see you all in class really soon. And thank you once again for your time. Thank you very much. It's been an absolute pleasure to see everybody. Thank you so much. Good night. <laughs>